Love them or hate them, the presidential candidates took to the stage last night for the first presidential debate. Hillary Clinton faced off against Donald Trump. And the night lived, lived up to the excited expectations. That's right. Joining us not only to go over the debate, but also discuss how each candidate is approaching social media is Jenny Stromer Galley, professor at the School of Information Studies and political scientist Danielle Thompson, an assistant professor at the Maxwell School. Good morning, Good ladies. Morning. Good, morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Yes. Um, to debate the debate, right. I guess, right? Um, Jenny, we'll start with you. What did you think, you know, first thoughts, what did you think about last night's debate? Well, I think the debate last night was very much about character, right? The big question was how would Donald Trump come out? Would he come out swinging or would he come out calm? And what we saw was initially a calm Trump, and I think he did quite well in those first 30 mm -hmm. minutes, but Clinton got under his skin, mm -hmm. and it started to rattle him, and the last hour of the debate, he was much more kind of not on his game. Mm -hmm. in the ways that I think his campaign was probably hoping to be. Well, Danielle, it seemed a little bit like maybe Donald got under Hillary's uh, skin a little bit in the beginning because she was doing an awkward laugh, it seemed like. She was kind of like like, like laughing it off. Oh, Donald, you're so... I don't know. Did you find, did you see any of that where she was getting rattled by him? Well, she did try to lighten the mood at a few points. Mm -hmm. um, and she definitely wanted to own the stage. I think that the, the general consensus was that she came out swinging and mm -hmm. she was on the offensive. And I think that took him by surprise as well because her sort of reputation as the conventional mainstream politician would not necessarily predict sort of such offensive behavior. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think too, Jenny, you know, there, there were moments where he he almost, well, he did. He criticized her preparedness, and she sort of quit back with, I am prepared, mm -hmm. I, yeah. you know, and I'm prepared to be president. Yep. Um, also, the topic of judgment came up. Can we play this clip a little bit, a, li a little bit of this? Do we have it? It's the one where he says, I have much better judgment than she does. Maybe we don't have it. No. I have much better judgment than she does. There's no question about that. I also have a much better temperament than she has. You know, I think my strongest asset, maybe by far, is my temperament. I have a winning temperament. I know how to win. She does not have Sorry, how to win. Clinton. Wait, the AFL-CIO the other day, behind the blue screen, I don't know who you were talking to, Secretary Clinton, but you were totally out of control. I said, there's a person with a temperament that's got a problem. Secretary Clinton. Woo. Oh my God, what do you think, Jenny? Well, you, you were laughing right during this, and I think that says a lot about the well, I think it's interesting because he's talking about his temperament and how, I, I do think he's a winner because he's very successful, but I think like his, to talk about temperament, I mean, he's sort of flown off the handle many times, even before he was a presidential candidate. No, but but stop, right? So he does those kinds of things right. to the to the to the moderator, to Les Holster, Holder in that moment, which just underscores that he doesn't actually have very good temperament, right? He can't control himself when he really needs to control himself. And for the public that's watching, part of the question is, can this guy be commander in chief? Can he make sure that at the end of the day he'll be calm, cool, and collected when things get tough? And those kinds of moments during the debate don't exactly provide that yeah. reassurance. I want to just add on to what Jenny was saying, and that is there were a few moments where Hillary just stood by watching mm -hmm. with a straight face. And the implication was, you watch what's going on. I don't even need to interject to say anything. Right. Um, and just adding on to this, to this last part about, about temperament, I mean, I think one of, of Trump's accomplishments out of this debate was the first half hour. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. The latter half of the debate, um, he did sort of revert, and we sort of revert <laughs> to expectations. Mm -hmm. And, you know, yeah. whether that will have an impact is, is hard to tell. Right. But I think the first half an hour did did go pretty well now, for him. His, now, the topic of his tax returns yes. did come up and him not releasing them. Let's take a, uh, we have a clip of Clinton talking about that. Let's take a listen. You've got to ask yourself, why won't he release his tax returns? And I think there may be a couple of reasons. First, maybe he's not as rich as he says he is. Second, maybe he's not as charitable as he claims to be. Third, we don't know all of his business dealings, but we have been told through investigative reporting that he owes about $650 million to Wall Street and foreign banks. Or maybe he doesn't want the American people, all of you watching tonight, to know that he's paid nothing in federal taxes. 
and then and then he jumps in there and says, you know, I'm smart for that. I mean, what did uh, Danielle? What do you? What's your opinion? Of that I thought comment? this was one of the most surprising moments of of the debate. Um, I do think her her response will be played over and over on this point because not necessarily the content, which is you know part of it, but that's not the only part. It was very crisp, clear, and succinct. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the the factors that you know determines whether clips are, are played and prepaid. But it gets to his character. And and this is whether we can trust him, whether he is hiding something, mm -hmm. and why he might be hiding what he is hiding. Well, and the issue for Trump here is that part of he's been pushing this idea that he's he understands the common person right he is part of of the ordinary person's experience and he will protect them but then when he comes and says that it's smart to not pay your taxes well I don't know I mean if I don't pay my taxes I go to jail right and so how does that exactly read for those people that he's trying desperately to reach and yeah I don't think that was a good move for him well, we can we can go on forever but hopefully <laughs> you all will come back and chat yes, with us sure. on another debate yes.